Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve exercise 41b from Mathematics 1. Actually, we have to understand some few things. That is P and C both are alternate angle. Q and D both are alternate angle. R and C corresponding. Q equal to B corresponding. P A corresponding. S D corresponding. If we understand this type of angles properly, then we can solve any type of problem from this chapter. So let's start. Now, number one. Number one says find A if S equal to 120 degree. We have to find out the measurement of A if S equal to 120 degree. So look at this. If S equal to 120 degree, then we can say D obviously should be 120 degree. Why? Because this S and D both are corresponding angle. Okay. And if D is 120 degree, then A should be 180 minus 120 degree. Why? Because we know that A plus D, these two angles, will make a straight angle. A straight angle means 180 degree. So A plus D is equal to 180. Therefore, A should be 180 minus 120. So 60 degree. So answer of number one should be 60 degree. Now, number two. Number two says, find A. Now we have to find out A if Q equal to 110 degree. So how can we solve this problem? Look, very simple. If Q equal to 110 degree, then what will be the measurement of A? If Q is 110 degree, then obviously D will be 110 degree because Q and D both are alternate angles. And we solve these problems a lot of different ways. I'm just solving in one way. Q and D both are alternate angles. So D is 110. Then what will be the measurement of A? Similarly, we can say A should be 180 degree minus 110 degree. Why? Because A and D, these two angles will make a straight angle. So here our answer should be 70 degree. This is the answer of number two. Simple. Now look at number three. Number three says find S. S means this measurement if C equal to 40 degree. So if C is 40 degree, then we have to find out the measurement of S. So given C equal to 40 degree. So if C is 40 degree, then, then P should be 40 degree. Simple, P should be 40 degree. Why? Because C and P both are alternating, alternating, okay? So if P is 40 degree, then S should be 180 minus 40 degree. Why 180 minus 40 degree? Because we know that S and P, these two angles will make a straight angle. S plus P is 180. So S will be 180 minus 40. So 140 degree. Simple. Now number four. Number four says find R. That means this value if D equal to 150 degree. So the value of D is given. That is 150 degree. So by using this measurement, we have to find out the angle R. So if D equal to 150, then Q should be 150 degree. Why? Because these two angles are alternate angle, alternate angle. Okay. So if Q and D both are alternate angle, then R should be 180 degree minus 150 degree. Then what is the final answer? 180 minus 150 that will be 30 degree. So 30 degree will be the final answer of number four. Now, number five. Number five, if you look at it, you can see that find P, that means this one, if B equal to 100. So if B equal to 100 degree, that means B equal to 100 degree, then what will be the measurement of C? C should be 180 minus 100 degree. Why? Because C and B, these two angles, we make a straight angle. So if B is 100 degree, C should be 180 minus 100 degree. That will be 80 degree. Okay. So the measurement of C should be 80 degree. And if C is 80 degree, then we can say P should be 80 degree. P should be 80 degree. Because C and P are alternate angle, are alternate angle. That's why C and P both will be same. Okay. This is number five. Now, number six. Number six says find B, C, and D if A equal to 130 degree. 
So if the measurement of A is 130 degree, then what will be the measurement of B, C and D? The, that is very simple problem. How can I solve it? Look, here A equal to 130 degree, okay? Then what will be the measurement of D and B? We can find out these two measurements very easy. How? This line and this line, these two lines are parallel to each other. And this line and this line are parallel to each other. And we know that if we draw a two parallel line and one is their transversal, then sum of these two interior angles is 180 degree. So A plus D is 180 and A plus B is also 180. Okay, this one and this one 180. This one and this one 180. So if A is 130 degree, then B should be 180 minus 130. 180 minus 130, that will be 50 degree. Similarly, this B and this A, these two will make 180 degree. So 180 minus 130, it will be also 50 degree. Simple. Now, only the measurement of C is left. So what will be the C? Very simple. C should be B is 50 degree, so C should be in a similar way, 180 minus 50. 180 minus 50, that will be 130 degree. Now, I want to show you another way. If that one is A, then this one also will be A. Try to understand the colored one, okay? So, A is equal to 130, then this angle should be 130. Why? Because this angle and this angle are corresponding angle. Then what will be the measurement of B? Measurement of B should be 180 minus 130. Why? Because this angle and this angle, these two angles will make 180. So B will be 50 degree. How 50? 180 minus 130, that is 50. Now, if this angle, this red color angle is 130, then we can say this C also should be 130. Why? This angle and this angle, these two angles are alternate angle. So this one is 130. So we have already find out three value. Now look at it. If A is 130, then it will be 50 degree. Why 50 degree? Because these two angles will make 180. So if one angle is 130, another angle should be 50. If that one is 50, then D should be 50 degree. Simple. Then we can easily find out that here, if A equal to 130 degree, then B is equal to 50 degree, C equal to 130 degree, and D equal to 50 degree. Simple. Now, number seven. Number seven says in figure 18, that means this figure, find B if A equal to 60 degree. So if A equal to 60 and C equal to 50 degree, what will be the measurement of B? Very simple. We know that sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Sum of three angles, three angles of our triangle, of our triangle is 180 degree. Is 180 degree. So what will be the measurement of B? B should be 180 degree minus sum of other two angles. That is 60 degree plus 50 degree. We know that 60 plus 50, that will be 110 degree. So 180 minus 110, that is 70 degree. So B should be 70. Okay, very simple. This is one way to solve it. Now, another way. Look, if A is 60 degree and C is 50 degree, then we can say this one and this one, they are corresponding angle. Why? Because these two lines are parallel and this line is transversal. Look, this line and this line parallel and this blue color line is transversal. So if that one is 60, it should be 60 because of corresponding angle. Now, look at it. If that one is B, then obviously the value of this one should be B. Why? Alternate angle. Simple. Then we can say this three angle will make 180 degree. That means one straight angle. So what will be the measurement of B? 180 degree minus sum of other two angles, that is 50 plus 60. After subtracting, you will get 180 degree minus 110, that is 70 degree. Simple. That is the answer of number seven. Now, number eight. How can you solve number eight? 
Look, in figure 19, find A, C, and D. A, C, and D. If B equal to 1 or 0. If the measurement of this B is 1 or 0, then what will be the measurement of A, C, and D? We can easily see this. This one and this one are parallel. This one and this one are parallel. So, if B is 1 or 0, then C should be 180 minus 1 on 0. Why? Because sum of two interior angles is 180. These two interior angles should be 180. So 180 minus 1 on 0, that will be 70 degree. So the measurement of C should be 70. And what will be D? 70 and D. These two will make 180. So D should be 180 degree minus 70 degree. 180 minus 70, that will be 1 on 0. So D should be 1 on 0 degree. Now, A will be left. What will be the measurement of A? That will be 180 degree minus 1 on 0. 180 minus 1 on 0, that will be 70 degree. So here C and A, these two values same. B and D, these two values are same. Now our last two problems, number 9 and number 10. Look at number 9. Number 9 is very easy. In figure 20, find X. If A equal to 30 degree, B equal to 50 degree. So how can you solve this problem? Look, to solve this problem, we have to draw a line. Suppose this is the line. I'm drawing this line. Now, look at the color. Then you will understand properly. If A, this measurement is 30, then obviously it will be 30. Okay, do you have any confusion? No. If A is 30, this one should be 30. If this B is 50 degree, then measurement of this angle should be 50 degree. Okay? We have already find out. Now, what will be the measurement of this X? What will be the measurement of this X? We can easily find out. Look, the whole rotation, whole rotation, whole circle is 360. So, X should be 360 degree minus addition of 30 plus 50. Okay? So, 360 degree minus 30 plus 50, that will be 80 degree. So, if you subtract, then you will get 280 degree. And that is the answer of number 9. So, what will be the angle of X? That will be 280 degree. Now, number 10. Number 10 says, find A. Okay, this measurement, if X is equal to 250. So, this one is 250 degree right now. Okay? And B equal to 40. So, if X is 250, what will be the measurement of this angle? How can you find out? We can easily find out in this way. Look, this one and this one, this total whole circle will make 360. So it should be 360 degree minus 250 degree. So 360 minus 250, that will be 110 degree. So measurement of this angle should be 110 degree. Now, I have to draw a straight line. And this line is parallel to these lines, okay? These lines are parallel to each other. Then what will be the answer? Look, we have to find out the measurement of A. And we know the measurement of this angle, okay? And look at it. This B is 40 degree. So if this B is 40, it will be obviously 40 because both are alternate angle, okay? So total is 1 on 0 and one part is 40. What will be the other part? This part should be 1 on 0 minus 40 degree. We know that 1 on 0 minus 40, that will be 70 degree. So this measurement should be 70. And this one and A, these two angles are alternate angles. So A should be 70 degree. So measurement of A should be 70 degree. And in this way, we can easily solve this chapter number 9 and 10 from 41a and 41b are very important so please practice these problems properly okay and in this way we can easily solve this chapter so thank you very much for watching this video see you soon on next video until then allah hafiz